So here we're going to look at how to solve a problem involving a linear function using a graph. So here we have a graph of uh, the cost of an electrician's house call. And the first thing what we're going to do with this graph is we just want to quickly estimate. Uh, the question is, uh, he, he's done a $190 job, and we want to know how many hours of work that uh, equaled. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate uh, the actual number or a more accurate calculation of the hours of work based on the graph. So to estimate how many hours of work equals $190, um, we're going to use that $190 and we're going to look at where it lies on this graph, on the line on the graph. And if you notice our graph, we have increments of 120. So we have an increment of 60 here. 60 plus 60 is 120. Plus another 60 will give us 180. Plus 60 is 240. So we take our 190 and see whereabouts this line crosses the 190 mark. So if this line represents 180, 190 is probably going to be somewhere around here. So what we can do is just see approximately where the line crosses at 190. And then from there we'll draw a vertical line down. And we find it lands approximately there. So looking at the time on the bottom, we notice that it's written in increments of two hours. Every two squares is uh, two hours. So what that means is every single square is an hour. So that's one hour there. This would be three hours. And this would be five hours. So we know that this job falls somewhere between three hours and four hours uh, of work. And if we just want to make a quick estimate, we can say, well, we can say three and a half hours, maybe even a little bit less, but it's an estimation. We'll just go three and a half hours of work. So that's the first quick example of how a graph can be used to make a quick estimate of a problem uh, that involves a linear function. So to calculate the actual uh, number of hours work, we now look to the graph and look at the cost of an electrician when the time is zero. So we can see that right off the bat, the cost of an electrician's house call is going to be $60 for zero hours worked. So that's going to be our vertical intercept. So our vertical intercept is going to be 60. I'll just quickly write some notes down here so we don't forget. So vertical intercept is 60. So the next thing we have to do is we have to calculate the rate of change in this function. So the increase in cost for each additional hour worked is going to be the rate of change in this function. So to calculate the rate of change, what we're going to do is we're going to look at two points on the graph. So we'll start right here. And what we want to do is we want to look at where the two points come together. So for every three hours worked, we see the cost increases by 180 minus 60 equals $120. So this $120 represents the change from here, this line, up into the point there. So 180 and 60. 180 minus 60 is 120. So we have a rate of change of $120 over three hours. Now what we want to try and do is we want to simplify that to get a dollar per hour. So a simple calculation, we know that the rate of change is going to be $40 per hour worked. Just simply $120 divided by three hours. 
So the equation that's going to represent this function is going to be C, which stands for our cost of the electrician, that equals our rate of change, which we just calculated is $40 per hour, rate of change times our time, or the amount of hours he works, plus $60, which was our vertical intercept. And that's the, the starting cost when uh, he worked $0. So it costs basically $60 just to get him out of his door to your house. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute C, which is our total cost, with, with $190. We already know the total cost for the job was $190. So we have $190 will equal our 40 times T plus 60. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to isolate our 40 T. And we're going to do that by bringing this 60 and we're going to bring it across the equal sign. So whenever you bring a number across the equal sign, uh, we change its sign. So here it's positive 60. When it comes across the equal sign, it actually turns into a negative 60. So we have 190 negative 60 or minus 60 equals 40 T. So that in turn is 130 equals 40 T. Now we're going to try and isolate T because that's initially what we want to find out is the amount of hours worked. So what we'll do is to get T all by itself, we'll divide it by 40. And whatever we do to one side, the equation we have to do to the other. So if we divide both sides by 40, these two cancel each other out, which leaves us with what we want is our T, or the amount of hours worked. We have 130 divided by 40 is 3.25, or 3 and 1 quarter.